In the very first lecture of this course, we learned that we use Angular to create a client-side application using HTML, CSS, and a programming language like JavaScript or TypeScript. Now, most of the time, when we are developing an Angular application, we use TypeScript as a programming language. TypeScript is a fairly new programming language, which is very similar to JavaScript. So, in this lecture, let's understand what is TypeScript and do you re really need to learn TypeScript in order to go along with this course? So, TypeScript is a free and open source programming language which was developed by Microsoft and it is a superset of JavaScript. That means any valid JavaScript code is also a TypeScript code. So, in a TypeScript file, you can write a valid JavaScript code and that JavaScript code will compile and run. So, any valid JavaScript code is also a TypeScript code. But TypeScript has additional features that do not exist in the current version of JavaScript supported by most of the browsers available out there. For example, TypeScript is strongly typed, but JavaScript is not. JavaScript is basically dynamically typed language. That means the data type of a variable is determined by the value stored in it. We do not explicitly specify the data type of a variable in JavaScript. Let's understand this with an example. So here we have a JavaScript code where we are declaring three variables. Now here we have not explicitly specified the data type of these variables. The data type of these variables will be determined based on what type of value we are storing in it. So here when we are storing a string value to this name variable, the data type of this name variable will be string. When we are storing this number 28 to this age variable, the data type of this age variable will be number. And in the same way, when we are storing this boolean value false to this is married variable, the data type of this is married will be boolean. Here, we are not specifying the data type of these variables explicitly. The data type of these variables are determined based on what value we are storing in it. And this is what dynamically typed means. Now, in TypeScript, we can specify the data type of a variable explicitly. So, as you can see, here, we are specifying the data type of this name variable as string, the data type of this age variable as number and the data type of this is, mar is married as boolean. Now, when we are specifying the data type of these variables explicitly, then only that type of data can be stored in that variable. So, for example, here I have created this name variable and I have assigned a value john to it. Later, I can go ahead and assign a value, a numeric value to this name variable in JavaScript and JavaScript will not throw any error. But here, we have specified the data type of this name variable as string. So only string values can be assigned to this name variable. If I try to assign a numeric value to this name variable, we will get an error in TypeScript. And since TypeScript is strongly typed, we can avoid a lot of bugs in our application by specifying the data type of a variable explicitly. So this is one advantage or you can say one extra feature which this TypeScript language has. Now remember that in TypeScript specifying the variable type is optional that is not mandatory. But using this feature makes your application more predictable and it also makes it easier to debug them when something goes wrong. TypeScript also has quite a few object oriented features which we do not have in JavaScript, like interface, access modifiers, fields, properties, generics, etc. And these features are not available in current version of JavaScripts. Another benefit of using TypeScript is that we can catch errors at compile time instead of at runtime. So while compiling the TypeScript uh, files, there is a compilation step involved. During that compilation step, we can catch these errors and fix them before deploying it to the production. So this is another advantage of using TypeScript. Okay, so TypeScript is a beautiful programming language and it is basically a superset of JavaScript. Any valid JavaScript code is also a valid TypeScript code. So if you know JavaScript, then you already know most of the TypeScripts. And that's why in this course, I will not talk about TypeScript specifically. You will learn TypeScript as we move along in this course. And I will try to include a section at the end of this course where you can learn basic concepts of TypeScript. But if you have a good knowledge of JavaScript, then you are good to go with this course. 
And if in future lectures, if I use any TypeScript feature which is not available in JavaScript, then I will surely explain it before using it. Okay. So this was a brief introduction of what TypeScript is. In the next lecture, let's learn how an Angular application gets executed.